Hi, I'm Greg. Greetings from Cubeland. I'm in a closet now, actually. I want to share with you something which I think is really important. It involves a paradox that we see every day at our work. I'm going to tell you how, what the, I'm going to tell you what the paradox is. I'm going to tell you how we solve the paradox. And I'm going to show you how your life can be that much better for it. Uh, imagine a workplace. If you are an employee, imagine you doing the work. If you are a supervisor, imagine other people under you doing the work. Now imagine you get computers. Computer that's twice as fast by some standard. It's got, uh, say it was one gigahertz. The old one was one gigahertz, now it's two. The old one had uh, two processors. This has four by whatever measurement you want to use. This new one is twice as fast. How come the work doesn't take less time? I mean, if the computer gets a lot faster, you'd think people could get a whole lot more done or go home earlier, something like that. But that doesn't seem to happen. I mean, imagine a closed system where it's just, it's just a closed system where it's just the, the computer and the person. And the computer gets faster, faster, faster. But the person is still sitting there all day. It's, it's kind of strange. And this is what I call Greg's paradox which is that as the computer gets faster, the work still takes the same amount of time. Uh, so let me explain to you the resolution. Now, the resolution is not, well, the workload, people will give you more work. Well, they don't give you twice as much unless someone is laid off, I know. But you, you, you normally have, have a certain fixed workload, give or take. There's a bit of an ebb and flow. But again, if the computer gets a whole lot faster, I mean, then your work should get a lot easier, right? It should take less time. We solve Greg's paradox this way. The computer is faster, and the computer can do its work faster if and only if the person gets out of the computer's way. What happens is we use the computer incorrectly. We view it incorrectly. We view the computer as a tool which we use to get our work done when we should be viewing the computer as a tool which can do our data crunching work for us. If we can learn how to use the computer this way, if we can get out of the computer's way, then our workload becomes lighter and our day becomes much more golden. Thanks.